lot of people still have questions about Avast and it did finally release the new version 5.0 so I'm going to show you how to install that and there's also a new uh, registration that's much easier to register than it used to be so I'm going to walk you through the install and show you how to register it and a couple other tweaks that I do so we're going to open Firefox that's the one I'm using and we're going to go to abass.com and I'm looking up at my screen at the same time sorry about that uh, click on the free antivirus or the free Avast antivirus, uh, the free edition, and that'll open a download page. You gotta choose your language and click download now, and that'll bring you up to CNET download, which is hosting the file. Um, download.cnet.com is a really nice site if you're looking for anything to download. Uh, you type the download into the search bar and you find all kinds of stuff. But uh, go ahead and click on the download now button. And your download should start. Of course click save. And double click on the file. Choose run. Of course you want to run it. You can go ahead and close your browser and everything now and the install doesn't take very long at all and choose your language again click next and you can choose to participate in the AVAS community it just kind of lets them know what kind of stuff you do you know if you get a virus or something it'll let them know how you got attacked or something like that it's a good idea and always choose custom install no matter what you're installing always choose custom install it gives you more options uh, click next go ahead and choose a typical installation and click next click next again and it's going to create a system restore point so you know if something happens you can use system restore to go back before you install Avast uh, you shouldn't have any problem If you're running Norton antivirus or any other antivirus program, Avast will let you know if it's not compatible. So if you don't get a warning about compatibility, then you're fine and you can run them both. And what I've found is running Avira and Avast, they work very well together. system installs done welcome to Avast now there's a couple of settings that I do I'll show you how to you right click on the Avast icon and go to open Avast user interface um, you're going to see where it says it needs to be registered in order to get the updates and stuff so click on the register now button and of course you want to register the free edition and just fill out the form your name and email address you don't really have to fill out the rest of it but it's a good idea to let them know you know what type of the, what region you're living in stuff like that in case you do get attacked by a virus so they can pinpoint the uh, location where it, where it hit and uh, stuff like that let them know if you're an avid user or whatever so it just it helps them define their um, antivirus program to fit the needs of other people so they can tell whether you're uh, you know an avid user or, or whatever if you had to pay for a virus antivirus program would you of course I would and then go ahead and click register your free and the registration's done. That's that it. A um, couple other things I like to do is go to the update button and make sure the, the definition, the virus definition files are updated as well as the program. 
but you just downloaded the program so it's a good chance you're okay uh, the other thing you can go to scan computer or go into the settings tab and I turn off the extra animation stuff just so it doesn't slow my computer down not that you really have to worry about it but there's no sense running the extra animation stuff and you go to updates um, you want to let it automatic make sure it's set to automatic update for both the program and the file definitions and then tell it uh, how you connect to the computer or the internet whether you're you know using a dial-up connection which god I hope you're not or whether you're permanently connected and then the other thing I do is I go to the silent gaming mode and I put a check mark on the silent gaming mode that way it doesn't give me all the extra pop-ups and stuff like that like every time you get a an update or something you get a little pop-up Avast has been updated you know you don't need to know that because you know it's working you still get the pop-ups if you get a virus uh, alert or something like that of course and then click OK and uh, then you can go into scan computer and you can do a quick scan which uh, depending on how many files you have of course or you can do a full system scan if you've got the time then the other nice feature is the boot time scan you can schedule a boot time scan uh, select the, the hard drive that you want to scan which is your system drive and then click add and change it to high just so it scans really good um, leave the other check marks as they are and with the boot time scan uh, click schedule now and then, then the next time you restart your computer it'll run that scan you can click the restart now or just close the program and the next time the computer starts it'll scan it for you but what's really nice about that is it scans in DOS mode before Windows gets a chance to start as well as the virus that may be hiding in there so if you got that virus that's really hard to get rid of the boot time scan works really nice for that and I guess that's it uh, I hope you enjoy the program and thanks for watching remember to comment rate and subscribe <laughs> I feel weird saying that hey thanks guys and uh, take it easy I'll talk to you later